this is Joaquina from Modern Homemakers. And I've been trying to come up with a project for months because I buy my children these baby foods here and they have this plastic cap on top and it's been driving me crazy. Well, I not only came up with one project, I came up with two. So uh, go check out my other video, How to Make a Toy Train, to see the other one. But what I did, because I have a toddler, is I came up with a cute little toy car. So, um, you can see it over here. I'm missing a wheel. He needs to eat one more orange food, but you can see it uh, in blue as well. And to make this, I mean, this is a free project. You just need scrap fabric. You could even cut up an old t-shirt if you want to. So, scrap fabric. You need yarn. You need four, hopefully, matching baby food lids. Um, if you don't have these, see if someone else has a baby or... You could use large buttons, but your car is not going to stand up, which, let's face it, that's what makes this awesome. Um, you also need a cruelly needle, which is a really large eyed needle that you can put yarn in. Um, sewing machine. Go to my website, free pattern, for the car and the windows and all that stuff. So, modernhomemakers.com. Oh, by itself, that's a choking hazard. So, those are no-nos, um, but once we sew them on and they're secure, they should be fine. So, anyway, stick around and see how we make this free present. And Gideon, forget you ever saw that because it's your Christmas present. Just take your scrap fabric, scrub pants I never sewed for my husband because he doesn't do that anymore. And this is kind of thin material, so what I'm going to do is cut four pieces, but you can cut two if you have a more substantial fabric. And um, lay it all out. And do that now um, if you want to simplify this you don't have to cut windows or you can just put windows on both sides um, I forgot to grab it but I'm gonna cut these out of some shimmery silver fabric that I don't even know where I got it I've had it for eons so lay it out pin it and cut your pieces so you can see I have cut everything out and I have pinned my little windows and I once again I had thin fabric so I've doubled the green car part but when you pin everything just make sure it looks good from both sides and I don't even know if I've reversed my windows properly I'm sure my husband will correct me later but you know they're gonna be looking at one side at a time and just make sure you're happy with it it's not like a specific spacing to space your windows till you're happy and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a straight stitch around the window and then a zigzag so And you're going to use um, thread that matches as close as possible to whatever fabric you chose. But don't go buy thread for a cheap project. Just make it work. And you can see this is very ravelly fabric. So that's why I'm going to go zigzag around. I may even zigzag twice. And then I'm going to snip all the little fraying threads. Now we're going to do a zigzag. Yep, and if you want, you can go in and do that a second time so it lasts even longer. So what we're going to do is go in and see how this has started to ravel here. I'm just going to go in and snip snips and get that right up to the edge and we're gonna do that same step snip all the ravelies and sew all the silver pieces to both sides of the car okay we've stitched on our windows and now you're gonna match up both sides and um, one side is longer than the other so that should be a pretty easy matchup and you're just, if you want to pin a couple times around. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch almost all the way around. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, maybe two fingers widths at the bottom. I'll put a couple pins there so I don't forget. And um, that is where we're going to put all our stuffing in. So that's all the pins I'm going to do. But we're just doing a straight stitch. 
and we'll be back in a second but leave two finger widths and go all the way around and we're going really close to the edge here so we're gonna go maybe lined up with the center hole there so not very much um, width at all I'll go a little bit so you can see uh, so you can see very close to the end I don't know maybe an eighth of an inch or a fourth of an inch so we'll be back so I've stitched all the way around you can see I used the color thread where you can see and I've left just enough space to be able to put my fingers through so what we're gonna do now is I don't want to spend money on polyfill for a toy where it doesn't matter so I have all these little scraps of fabric that are too small to make anything from so um, you can use polyfill if you want if not take some scraps of threads and fabrics and cut them up and then we'll be back so I've got all my free stuff in here and um, make sure if you have the four cuts of fabric that you have two on each side but we're just gonna go in and stuff this so I've stuffed the car with the fill and you just you know you just keep pushing your fingers in there and packing it down until it's nice and good and what I'm gonna do is take some thread and um, stitch up this last piece and it doesn't really matter what it looks like for the stitches um, because we're gonna take and yarn or embroidery floss whatever you have and do like a decorative stitch around the edges so just gonna stitch this close I keep pushing the stuffing down it's in my way so as you can see this is a possibly free project if you have all this stuff just laying around pieces of thread and little chunks of fabric so obviously you don't need to go buy fabric for this project just scraps from something else you've made or if you have to go buy it you can go spend 30 cents on a remnant and make several cars so we've stitched up this whole thing and we're gonna go in and tie it off don't have to have beautiful sewing skills mine that's pretty ugly actually but it's gonna be covered up so now what you're gonna do is switch to a different color of thread to coordinate with whatever your wheels are and once again if you do not have um, baby food toppers you can use large buttons but your car is not gonna stand up so what we're gonna do is go in figure out where we want our wheel to be and then I've knotted my doubled thread and just like sewing on a button snip um, just like sewing on a button we're gonna position it and go in and out of where we want it to be except I'm gonna be fancy and try to do both wheels at the same time so you can sew one wheel on at a time no worries but I'm gonna go for two so this is a little bit harder than sewing through polyfill because remember you've got a bunch of cut up fabric on the inside so be really careful your threads gonna want to try to knot so okay so now on the other side we're gonna line up with your other wheel and go through. Now you really want to take the time and go around this a bunch because this is a massive choking hazard if your baby gets that off. So um, you don't ever want your baby to choke. That would be horrible. I mean, to make this even stronger, you could use embroidery floss. So we are going to go around just different ways around the spokes just a billion times and no it will not turn um, but your toddler is still gonna drag it around the ground and have fun with it so we'll be back in a bit so we sewed on the front two wheels and you can see already that it couldn't stand up how fun is that just make sure you can see I've got lots of thread on the spokes there or the the hubcap or whatever that would be because you want to be able to pull on this and have it not move because we don't want baby choking on this because that would be horrible so go ahead and sew on your other two wheels and then I'll come show you how to do the finishing stitch oh you caught me playing with my kids car again <laughs> um, what we're gonna do next is take a crueling needle which is a really thick needle that you can put yarn through 
I'll try to put a link to it on my site. Um, anyway, and what we're going to do is take that, and I'm going to put a knot at the end, and we're just going to give this a nice plush toy finish. So, knot at the end. And what we're going to do, oh, I missed some. Hopefully you've trimmed your threads already. I missed some. We're going to start down here. And we're going to go right in. And you might want your thimble, because this can get hard on your fingers. And this seems a little tedious, but I'm going to show you a few stitches here. We're going to go just always from the same direction, going in to the back. Sorry, cameraman, I just hit the cameraman with my arm. It was unintentional. And we're going to go all the way around. And what this is going to do is keep it from raveling. And it's just cute. So you can see we don't want to pull it too tight. But we want to go all the way right next to the other stitch. All the way around. So I'll come back in a few minutes when I have this done, but you want to do this all the way around the corners and the, the rivets, everything, just all the way, and I'll come back here in a minute. Okay, I hope you watched a movie or something, because that took forever. Maybe a TV comedy episode. It wasn't quite that long. Uh, we've gone all the way around, and all we're going to do now is go in and twist to make a knot. And really, you could have tied at multiple points going around your project just to keep it from, if one part fra or frays and ravels, frevels, uh, frays and ravels at some point, that would help. So I'm going to, see, I just tied it twice, and then we're going to snip, and I'm going to show you a quick little option when I was coming up with what I wanted to do. I tried it. If you don't want to spend all the time doing that, you could zigzag. But I just, you know, you can see already, even with the zigzag, that's starting to ravel. And this is just so much cuter. But if you don't have time to do that, or you don't have a curling needle or whatever, um, you could just zigzag and just, you know, continuously trim that baby over the years as it gets whatever. But there you go. There's another color. But I'm, I'm missing a wheel. I, he needs to go eat another orange baby food. <laughs> I hope you had fun making your toy car. Vroom!